I'm going like that. And I'm going, like, hey, guess what? I'm over here, everyone. In fact, can I shoot those those, those barrels while I'm here? Just go like this. Oh, he comes in. He comes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, that was so much more than I was expecting. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back once again to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. While well, we are back in Impossible Mode, GFM8 mode, to take on the Zombie Horde in all its fast running, glowy eyed goodness once again. I am back in my FOB base, my base a little bit away from where I've been, uh, been living this entire time down in the desert in my killing corridor. I've headed up north, if you missed the last episode, up north into a new town to to try and find a new place for me to make a life for myself. Somewhere new with lots of loot and lots of good things and preferably mildly less zombies. But I mean, there's always going to be zombies. You can't really avoid that. And I am back in Impulsive Mode because there are th some things that have been left undone. And that namely is the fire uh, station over here, but also something a little secret that someone pointed out to me in the comments, which I'll have to go raid as well. But first things first, I need to go finish my dirty work at the, uh, the fire station. Last time I was there there was a bunch of rads and a bunch of bad times all that kind of shit so hopefully there's not that many there now at least i know if there is i can jump on my bike and run 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 away like the girl's dick that i am but i'll be okay let's just go over there draw out the zombies kill as many as we can and get whatever loot we can find okay there's no zombies outside let's just leave the bike here in case i need to grab it and run very very quickly and see what we can see let's peek inside and see what we can see 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 are there any zombies in the fire station? No, no one there. Uh, no, we're, we're looking pretty okay, actually. You know what? Let's make some noise and see if anyone comes out the front. Oh, break her up in that one. Anybody in here at all? I've got the old sledge. Yeah, I see zombies all the way over there. I think we're okay. Maybe the zombies after they ran out last time didn't respawn back in, which is fine with me. Because if I have this place to myself, look, there's like passing gas crates everywhere. That works wonders for me. Mini bike handlebars and a repair kit. That's good. We're, so I only need like the mini bike chassis for me to get some motorized transportation. A lot of people say that I should just like hold off and wait until I can get the motorcycle. But I don't really care about that because I'm more concerned with just being able to move around that uh, uh, in a way that uses gasoline instead of using my two little chicken legs that I've got rolling uh, with at the moment. We could grab this one over here. Come on, give me give me that mini bike chassis or a motorbike chassis or anything I can use. Ah, oh, not, not particularly great, but that's all right. Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm definitely begging at this point. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I woke everyone up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saw some radiator hands poking through. Uh, none of the guns I'm rolling with now have anti on them, do they? No, we don't have anything like that. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a bad time. Well, I don't think there's going to be any more vehicle parts boxes inside the old, um, like the actual building of the fire department. I will wait until they come out the front and kill them, though. I mean, they're just kind of stuck up there. Hey, can I just like put some damage into you while you're there? Oh, come on. What? How is two tiny little bars arrow proof? That's bullshit, game, and you know it. Here they come. Oh, zombie jumped at me, and I was, I need to put a point into run and gun at some point to give myself an actual chance. When I'm running backwards trying to kill these idiots. There we go. He's dead. The shotgun. You, you can't go wrong if you have the shotgun. Hey, Nursey, how you doing? Oh, put one to your shoulder. One to your other arm. One to your... Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm just going to... It's just, it's just going to be me at the front fighting a wave after wave of zombies with nothing but my shotting at this point. They're coming from everywhere. Okay. I think we're all right. I only took one shot. I've got one more Farmer Joe coming for me. That's all right. Oh, oh right in the noggin. You've got like no hair. Surely I should do extra damage on you with a sledgy because there's no like cushioning there. If you rolled in with like a massive afro, I'd understand that you're basically wearing a pillow on your head and I'd do a little bit less damage. But you've got nothing but your skull poking out. Oh, do I have a point? Do I have a point? I've got three points to spend. So let's put one. I can't put any more of the shotgun messiah. Where's run and gun? In fact, you know what? Let's just, let's just search for it. Run and gun. Boom. Buy me that one so I can move at least a little bit faster than a disabled snail when I'm trying to put some rounds back in my trusty shotty. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Chelsea. Chelsea, no. Chelsea, please. Oh, God. I was trying to fight someone else. You came up behind me and you spooked me. Oh, she's fast. She's fast and glowing and bad. Oh, Chelsea, please. We've been together for so long. Don't do me like this. I need life. I need whatever loot is in here for the betterment of my life. Please just leave me alone. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, she gave me a present, though. She may have... Oh, Jesus, Titty fucking. Where did you come from? That was bad. That was bad. No. 
No, no, please, no. I don't, I don't want to. No touchy, no whammy. Are there more? There's more. Okay, Chelsea, what did you give me? Oh, okay, that's that's some reasonable stuff. I'm not completely upset with that. Thank you for your sacrifice, but it's now night time. Not that it matters at all, except my visibility is now dicks. They're all dead in here, finally. There's a couple of boxes, which are probably just couches anyway, but I'll break them open. And a bookshelf, which might give me something useful. In fact, do I have a, any med kits on me? I've got some first aid bandages, but I don't want to use those. Let's quickly eat some of these and we're gonna go like bandage uh like i need to get like the black taken out of my my health bar not nothing there kitchen sink of course it was nothing useful uh scrap that scrap that scrap that what about you what do you got for me give me something good cabinet who's putting cabinets and shit inside boxes who's doing that it's just there to give me a cock tease and i don't like that shit and it's just fucking paper Ah, although I've got to keep the paper because at some point in my life, oh, there's a safe. I'm going to have to uh, start making myself some bloody uh, shotgun rounds because that's going to be my mainstay. At day almost 160, I'm going to need a fuckload of shotgun rounds. Here we go. There we go. It's open. What have you got? You've got a level four compound. Don't need that one. Pistol. Don't need that one. More shotgun ammo. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you're worth $400, so I'll take you because you're actually pretty valuable. Now, do I get... I think I get cloth out of these ones. I do. Make myself some bandages. Oh, okay. All right, everything's coming together. We're doing okay. I've got a bunch of gubbins on me that don't mean anything to me. I'm now cucumbered. Oh, this is, the, this is the problem. You know, you go on one little raid and suddenly your mum gets scared and sends you to Philadelphia. Ah, uh, not to Philadelphia, from Philadelphia. Jeez, I need to rewatch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air because I got that wrong and I'm ashamed of myself. Ah, uh, idiot. Before I left home, I was meant to modify my sledgy and put my burning sharp mod onto there. So just like extra damage for the sledgehammer, which I should have done before I took on the fire department. But anyway, better late than never. Uh, what else I got in here? What am I wearing? Wearing mining helmets. Let's just scrap the football helmet because I just can't be bothered dealing with that shit right now. Drink the extra bottle of water. Just trying to manage my inventory is just the bane of my existence. I don't want to do it. I don't want to have to do this all the time. But you like, require it of me. It pisses me off. Let's repair my bicycle because I've got a bloody repair kit. Uh, everything else looks pretty okay. Alright. Well, let's take this. I'm going to ride off into the distance over this way. I think it was this way. Somewhere over here. Where is it? I know it's over here somewhere. I'm looking for a well. Some people pointed out in the comments that there was a well nearby that I should go raid because apparently there's a bunker underneath it, which sounds like a wonderful idea to me. I just I just don't know where it was anymore. I could go check the comments again, but I'm filming right now. I can't do that. Where the hell was it? It's got to be here somewhere. Or maybe it was over near the old passing gas. Oh, well, there's a passing gas right here. Is this the same passing gas as last time? Is it? Is it? Is it not? I'm now. I'm now confused. Is this? Is this where the? Yes, there it is. There's the well. Okay, this is where I'm going down. I just have to quickly kill all these zombies first. All right, here we go. I know what you're probably thinking. An underground bunker sounds like a wonderful place for me to make a base, but not in GFM8 mode because there's no warning for bloodmoon hordes and they're random. They could happen at any time. You never know when a bloodmoon horde is going to show up and just start digging towards you. So, I mean, any other kind of game top where I could kind of predict that, I'd absolutely live down in the secret underground bunker, but not for this one in particular. Oh, there's some spikes down there. Oh, boy. Oh, the ladder's all broken and shit as well. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting, interesting. This could be the place of my dreams, or it could be the place of my nightmares. We won't know until we at least get our little fixies on the ground. Wow. A 7,000 door as well. Oh, it's going to take me a long time to beat through. In fact, 7,000, what are you? Well, you're only two and a half thousand, so I might just... Oh, but that's... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I've already got this one down to almost six. It's going to be two... It's going to be five thousand to beat through the concrete. All right, let's just do that instead then. I'm going to beat through the wall, not the door. Because that makes complete sense. I mean, if you make the door the strongest part of your base, I'm just coming through the walls. You've got to make sure your walls are as strong as your doors. Just like the old TV show, if it's the weakest link, it will say goodbye. Oh, that was loud. That was very loud. Are there are there zombies in here? I don't see anyone. I would have thought they would have woken up to all the commotion a second ago if they were going to at all. I don't know. I'm also very very nervous about a zombie coming in behind me and dropping down. Because if I get into like a punch on fight down the bottom of this well, that is going to be it for me. I did also find a um a challenge thing to kill two zombies when I'm drunk with my fists in impossible mode. 
That shit just ain't gonna happen. There's no way. I can barely kill a zombie with a fucking shotgun. How am I gonna kill a zombie with my fists? That's, that, that's, that's not gonna happen in this game mode. It's just not. It's all. It's getting pretty dark in here. It's almost night time. Please don't be a horde. Because I just got down here and I'd very much like to enjoy my time down here before you send a bunch of dickbags to come and kill me. Speaking of dickbags, are there any in here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Good call, Josh. I was just thinking, I've got a bad feeling in my stomach. Like, my, my gut feeling is telling me that it's going to be a horde night tonight. So I probably shouldn't stay down the bottom here in case it is. And they start digging down to try and find me and kill me. And I came upstairs and sure enough, it is red as dicks. I mean, if you if you dicks this red, you're probably going to see a doctor. Or at least just stop touching yourself for like five minutes. Give yourself a chance to rest and recuperate. So I'm just going to stay up here for the night. Let the horde come for me. Ride around so they can't get to me and then go back down into the depths of that well. Oh boy, there's just so many things you have to keep track of in this game mode and that's what makes it so freaking hard. Speaking of things, I hear a white and I see goopy green. Now nah, I'm just going to ride off into the distance. Goodbye everybody, the red fog is my home now. Oh, right, we're back. Somewhere out there, I mean, they're probably dead by now. It's almost 7 o'clock in the morning. We're way up the road. I've left the zombie horde running after me. They're probably down here in like six years. That's right, it doesn't bother me at all. They'll never find me down in my brand new bunker. Although, I'm still nervous that there might be some Jeffreys in here just waiting for me. I've got my sledge, so things go real south real quick. Oh, what a lovely little nook over here. Got a couch and a TV and a box full of nothing. Oh, I mean, some ammo, but I mean, nothing nothing really exciting in there. Also got a nice little library corner with another box I need to break into. Just go like this. Uh, and uh. So that wake anyone up. I mean, if I just beat down your literal entryway, then you're probably not going to wake up when I open up one box inside your house. Got a better shovel and a pick. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can find anything to make my life a bit easier in here. There's another 7,000 door there. Which is a little bit annoying, which means there's probably some good loot behind there, but I'll never know until I break down probably the wall rather than the door. Another door there. So all the zombies like locked away? Is this like a quarantine zone? Did they come down here and get locked away before they had a chance to get upstairs and ruin everyone's days? Can the, is this... Oh, this is some glass here. Okay, well I don't want to break the glass just yet because there's probably zombies on the other side. Let's just keep going for now, get whatever loot we can, and then when shit hits the fan, we'll bail up the ladder. There's just, like, no zombies at all in this place. This this bunker is completely deserted. And the more I'm in here, the more I kind of do want to turn this into my base. Like, at the moment, I'm living in the basement of a house. Although, I did just, like, reinforce the walls, and, like, there is the wall around the outside for me to defend against the hordes if I really need to. Like, down here, there's, like, really no way to defend against this. I could build a killing corridor, like a new one, upstairs. In fact, when I get around to probably building myself some sort of defenses, I'll probably build it over here. Another level 4 wrench. Oh, I have a little five wrench. I mean, uh, yeah, sure. One. No, no. Actually, what am I doing? I don't need that. I don't need a level four wrench. Only worth seventy-eight dollar redos. Scrap that one as well. I may as well spend my time beating my way through this. Although that's what seven thousand. This is five hundred. Oh, this is way easier. Fuck the door off. Why would I spend all my time beating down that when I can just come in this way? And still no zombies. Oh, happy days, lads. This is quite the loot room. What can I loot first before I... Oh, it's like a full storage chest there. What can I loot first before I have to start breaking things down? Munitions box. I better get something good out of this. Some Shawoodle purple dye. So, uh, just anything. Some good mods. Some good weapons. Uh, rocket launcher ammo. Not, I mean, I should use rocket launcher a bit more often, actually. Especially in this mode. That would probably be pretty handy. That was the only two, like, easily lootable things. All right. Well, I'm going to be down here for the next, like, six weeks. Breaking open air conditioner boxes. God, why would you stop teasing me with all like the promise of good shit and giving me fucking oh my god, it's gonna be like it's negative forty degrees in here with all these goddamn air conditioners. All right, what does the gun safe have for us? Oh, a two times scope that is actually kind of nice. Uh, what can I put you on though? Maybe the pistol? Sure, why not? Uh, hunting rifle. Could put the two-time scope on the hunting rifle. The hunting rifle's gonna get so much better in Alpha 18. The, the like, the teaser video for the new perks overhaul uh, that they're bringing out for it with, like, the penetration skill, that looks like a real, real good time. Being able to, like, shoot multiple zombies when they line up with a hunting rifle and stuff seems to make a whole lot of sense. Uh, quickly reload that pistol as well. For, no, that's my button. For when shit gets real unfortunate. But look at all the air cons in this bloody room. There was three air conditioning units in those boxes. It's just, that, that's just awful. That's just a bad time. But 
the bunker is cleared. I will keep this place in mind for later me. Because, yeah, as I was saying, when I, when I do end up building some sort of killing corridor base over here, I'm going to make it in the temperate zone rather than continue to live down in the desert down there. So let's go, like, this one and go bunker. That, sure, Buckner. That can, that, that, everyone knows what that means, right? I have my pistol. Okay, well, let's leave this place for now. It is night time, but there's more looting to be done. Got a little bit more time to go. Where, where's the next place though? I mean, I, this whole town is yet to be raided. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just ride around a little bit and see what I can find. I just need to find something to jump out at me and scream, Hey, I have good loot. Please come loot me. I think Special Tots actually had some decent loot up on the top, uh, top of the roof, didn't it? That might be, oh, I hear a pig. That might be the way to go about it. Maybe I can just be, oh. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, no. Stop, 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 stop. I am not dealing with wolves and dogs today. You guys are fast and dangerous and scary, and I just don't want anything to do with yous. Oh, okay. Who <laughs> says a, 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 a big black wolf hanging out in the parking lot of the Motel 8? Oh, boy. Okay, this, uh, this road actually has some pretty good stuff on it. It's got the apartment block down there, and it looks like the courts. I'm not sure. I can still hear that pig somewhere. I'm not sure where he is. But I just don't want to have to... I don't want to have to go through this whole bloody uh, POI. Can I make... I left my frames at home. How many frames can I make? I can make 12. Do we think that's going to be enough for me to get up to the roof? I, I doubt it. But I'm going to give it a red hot crack anyway. Just quickly cutting down this tree over here so I can get some more wood. Just in case I get stuck on top of a pile of frames halfway up the bloody building. Uh, in fact, I think... Is this the side... I think this is the side that actually has the uh, the loot on it. And will have all of the bloody, whatchamacallit, the vultures and all the stuff that protects it all on that side. So I might take maybe this side instead, or is that where it is? I'm not sure. Where is the normal way up? Is the, is the normal way up on like a set of stairs or something? If I can find the stairs, I can find the right way to go up. Yes, there it is. All right, aim for there, jump up onto those stairs, go up to the next level, uh, frame up to the next lot of stairs, and then come up the right way so I can get stealth shots on all of the vultures up there. Because I just don't want to fight vultures, you know? Vultures are the my, my most uh, hated adversary, or them and wolves, I guess, in this game. So the, the sooner I can kill them and the stealth I can kill them, the better. So if I come up the right way, I'll get a good look at it first. Hit you... You, we're good. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, I worked some up. Uh, no, that's the wall. Don't hit the wall. Hit the zombies, please. Set you on fire. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Occupado. Occupied. Get out of here. Set you on fire and go back inside the daycare from whence you came. I'm not sure if this is waking up all the Jeffreys on the top story, but I now I just need to do this. I need to make sure they aren't coming up behind me. I like that they're all stuck down there, though. It makes me happy. I can kill them all with ease. So that is the normal way, and I've gotten lots of fights down there before, and I am just not about that life anymore. I'm, I'm better than that. I'm smarter than that. I've, I've improved the way I play. I just need to get up to... Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no. No, okay. I can start, put it somewhere where they can't beat down my bloody frames and ruin my life if they really want to do that. Woo! Uh oh, they're gonna go. He's gonna go upstairs and wake everyone up. Don't you jump down on my face? Don't you dare do it! Don't you jump on my face! Don't you jump off? Uh, uh. Oh, he, he, he jumped on my face! Get off me, fucking! No, get off my frames! Hit him again, please! Hit him again! I'm gonna die! Why can't I hit him off my fucking frame? Oh my god! And I'm bleeding out. Use use your bloody bandage. Use this. There we go. That was a bad time to be me. There's nothing for it anymore. I have to be brave and just go for it. Oh, oh, that was a bad time to lag. Just as I tried to jump. Is everyone on the roof awake, or is it just people un uh, downstairs who woke up? I hope it was just the downstairs, Jeffries, because that's okay. They can beat on those walls as much as they like. I just need to make sure that I don't get into a really bad fight up the top here. Uh, lots of businessmen. I don't see any vultures. Although, here's a feral. They're probably all ferals at this point, actually. No vultures is a good time. Alright, let's pick a target. He's definitely going to die on the first shot. Maybe this guy will. Let's try and get as much stealth damage as possible. Uh, nope, he didn't die either. Alright, stealth damage to this dude too. There we go. Come on, everyone come. Well, come one, come all. That's as much as I can bite off for one day. And we're going to go like this. Oh! Ow! Nope! Ow! Okay, this is bad. Bad, 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 bad. I need, I need my safety frame. Uh, safety, safety frame. Okay, use my... Jesus! Use my bandage, try and get some health back. Oh, there's some rads. There's some rads and a whole bunch of bad times. 
Oh, I'm in trouble here. I'm really hurt and I'm really desperately trying to like get my health back as quickly as possible by eating things and killing things and doing whatever a man needs to do to try and survive for five seconds longer. If you guys could stop beating down the base of this building, that would be wonderful. We dodged that well. Oh, oh, I'm right on the nipples, right on the edge of falling down and joining almost. Oh, there's a white down there. Why is there a white down there? Where did you come from and where did you go? I, oh, you are a bad kind of cotton eye, Joe. The good news is, though, that I guess those zombies ran over and jumped on these landmines here and they both died because there's no more zombies up the top. Everyone downstairs is causing as much <laughs> problems for me as they possibly can, but that's fine. You guys can stay down here. You guys can have the whole freaking building if you want. I probably shouldn't... Wait, these guys are level fours. Uh, no, my current one is better, although you're worth... Not that much money. Fuck it. Scrap them. Reinforced chest. You got for me. Six nuggets. Damn it. You've got to give me... Where's some purple dye? All I want here is purple dye. Please. Oh, level six compound bow though. I'll take that and I'll even repair that one straight off the bat. Uh, let's quickly get you out of there. Even though I know there's no real difference between like the, the different tiers anymore. Just having something pink uh, makes me feel a little bit better about my life. So that one. Uh, you are good. Complete that. And we'll make sure that you are firing, uh, steel arrows. Because the only thing that isn't has a shot of doing any damage up here. Take that, take that, take that. Okay, now, in a, a, a system that's probably going to hurt me a fair amount. I'm going to break the gun store box. Wait, why didn't that fall? That's supposed to fall now. Why are the saves anti-gravity now? Ah, fuck. I just broke a gun store box for no reason. I'll break away into here too. I just, I just want something good. There was nothing useful in that safe, so it's time for me to leave. What's the best way down? Last time, I jumped off the freaking roof and broke my ankles, which was, generally speaking, a pretty freaking bad idea. So this time, instead, I'm going to go back down this way, use my frame of safety, drop down to there, drop down to, oh, drop down to there. Why? Oh, because it's been damaged. Okay. Take you guys. No, can't take you either. Jump over here. Oh, how do I go over the fence? Oh! Oh, it was a long way down. Over to this one, and over to this one, and away I go. Hey, Piggly Winks, how you doing? Whew, they are tearing apart that building. They wanted my asshole something shocking. I'm never going to give it to them. You can't have it. You guys are not going to treat it with the kindness and respect that it deserves. So I'm going to take my butthole and leave. Seems to be relatively calm out here for the moment. So I might just stop and uh, eat some more food and try and get myself back to full health. I'm pretty not great right now. I got smacked up real bad that last little special tots place. Oh boy, it's a, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing trying not to get yourself killed when you're me. It takes a lot of effort. I don't want to fight with the sledgehammer anymore. I'm already pretty fucked up. I just I want to make sure of these things and try and kill them from a distance. I've got plenty of pistol ammo, so I may as well bloody use it. Come on, you. Come on, can you die, please? Yep, there we go. They're both dead. That was pretty bloody loud, though. But more importantly, I was looking inside this little garage here, and there is a workbench, and it looks like it's still an intact workbench. So I might have a crack and actually be able to make a, um, a vehicle or something with that. I do have a Grease Monkey magazine, which is good because I don't really have any points in Grease Monkey. Um, in fact, I'm going to need the magazine to craft my mini bike. So, I might, in fact, you use that to make the parts. So I've got the handlebars. Do I still have the handlebars? Yes, I do. Mini bike handlebars. So, I just need to make the chassis. And then I can come in here, use my... Damn it, it's destroyed. It doesn't look destroyed. It looks pretty bloody intact to me. Lot... Lots of landmines and... Uh... Oh, I forgot what the other thing was now. It's some oil. Oh, dude, dude, no. No, 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 no. No, stop, stop. Put your hoodie away. No. Oh my god, I shot over all his shoulders every time. <laughs> he, he took so many shots in the chest and didn't even stumble. He didn't even flinch. That man's the Hulk. Like, when he goes out to town to go to the shops and stuff, has to wear his hoodie to be incognito. I just picked a fight with the fucking Hulk and won. Oh, yes, there's another passing gas. There's another passing gas here. And I definitely haven't been here before. Oh, okay, good. It's very dark. It's very night time. I can't really see anything right now, so I might just like circle around for a little bit and uh, wait until I can see a little bit more because this this might be the chance. This might be my chance to get some vehicle going. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. So stay here and try and make sure we see any zombies coming. I don't want everything to come here and break this shit down. Oh, wood and a level five pistol. I will take that and I will take my mod straight out of my level four. Thank you, figure service, darling. But I'm going to put you straight into the level five. Modify you and you. Complete that and swap you bad boys over. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I see you over there. I see you over there. I heard something. I heard something. Uh, so you already got the ammo out of you. Okay, we're good, 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 good. In fact, I could probably just like... $200 redos. I could probably just, just scrap you. Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of mechanical parts. Yeah, I'll, I'll just scrap it. <laughs> I like how unglamorous it is. You serve me for so long, and as soon as you're superseded, I tear you apart and sell you for, for scrap. Oh, okay, whatever. We need to focus now. We're coming in. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Strip of titties. Strip of titties. No. I don't want... I, oh, my God. You're way too fast for me to use the landmine. I'll just go like this. Just go like there and run around it and hope for the explosion. Damn it. You, you run around it like a fucking champion. How did you know my plan? I've got to try and kill her quietly because otherwise I'm going to wake up everybody inside. Okay. Well, the problem now is that I can't pick up that landmine. Oh. I heard something. I don't see anything. I can't pick up that landmine, which is now smack bang in the middle of the road over there. So I need to lure out some more zombies to try and get them to explode on that thing. In fact, oh, that's that's an Arlene. Arlene, can you do me for once in your life a favor and come and get rid of this landmine for me? Mine disposal, Arlene. If I could hit her. God, there we go. Okay, you got you. Run straight to the other side of the mine so that her, fa her fastest track to me is going to be over that mine. Come on, over this way. God, you're really taking some weird angles. No, this way. This, there, there you go. There you go. There you go. What? Come on, you nimble-fitted bitch. Fitted? Feated? Footed? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. I think I just have to accept that I'm never going to get anyone to step on that bloody landmine. So I'm just going to have to repair my... Uh, not repair. Re reload my pistol. Line it up. There we go. I mean, I should have woken up everybody this side of the equator. But no one's really coming for me. Oh, I see that dog booty. Do you see that dog booty? I definitely see that dog booty. Oh, here's what we're going to do. We've got two more landmines. We're going to run over here. Just like sneaky deaky. Sneaky deaky. There's only a two block wide exit to this whole yard. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to go, hey, guess what? I'm over here, everyone. In fact, can I shoot those those, those barrels while I'm here? Just go like this. Oh, he comes in. He com oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, that was so much more than I was expecting. Now that I've had my fun exploding dogs and setting them flying across the street, I also took a fair bit of damage in uh, that little endeavor as well. Mini bike chassis. Oh, and an engine. Oh my God. We're good, we're good, good, good. We, I think, I think I have one wheel back at the base though. Uh, I know I have some more wheels back at my desert base, but it's a long, long way away. Where is it? I think it's like here. Is this, I think this is where the box is. Oh, I was close. I was right next to it. Break open you. Give me like, give me two wheels and a battery. Two wheels and a battery. Oh man, that was, that was, that was a waste of my time. I'm going to keep that wrench. Let's scrap that one. All right. Well, uh, in fact, is this a, a working workbench? We need to check that one as well. I'm sure there's still zombies inside. Even though I just let off a nuclear sized explosion outside. It is a, and more landmines. Stop giving me landmines. I can't be trusted with that. Oh, 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 oh. Bad, 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 bad. I heard lots of footsteps and I looked up and there was a big horde of stripper titties coming for me. Bikers and stripper titties, not a good combination for me. Uh, let's go over this way. I also have like a little treasure thing on my map. I didn't realize that I did. Just, I, just, I just don't know what to do now. I feel like I've done so much, but I've made like so little progress. I'm almost to the point where I can put my, um, my, uh, my watch, what call it? My mini bike together. In fact, maybe... Maybe I just I just take to the wind. Maybe I just go grab whatever shit I can out of my little base, ride all the way back south, and uh, see if I've got all the stuff at my other base to try and put it all together. Because a mini bike would definitely make my life a lot better. In fact, yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to ride off into the wilderness, ride off into the sunset, and put my brand new vehicle together. And I'm going to enjoy it the whole way there. I've got all my stuff. I didn't have any like first aid left over over here, which is kind of upsetting. I'll quickly eat that large beef portion just to get some more health up. Uh, I've taken a bunch of stuff that I want to sell as well, uh, so I can actually make some money, because I'm going to have to go past a couple of traders on the way. Jump up out of here. Uh, I always forget how to get out of this place now. This, is, this house is a mess. Now that I know that that, uh, that bunker is there for me to go live in, I kind of just don't want to live in this joint anymore. Grab my bike, and we head... I think it's just it's all the way south, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's a trader there. It might be a trader there as well, actually. Hmm... Interesting. I'm going to check that one on the way. Quick waypoint there. Head south to that one, then to that one, then all the way down here, back to my base down here, and we'll finally be able to make my brand new mini bike. We're going to finally move without having to pump the spaghetti. What up, Trader Joel? Turns out that building on the way here was not a trader. It was just a regular POI that looked like a trader. Damn it, on the uh, on the map. I have to wait until 6. I always forget that. 
I, uh, I got here like midnight last night and ow, clearly I couldn't come in in the middle of the night, but now I can. Go in here, quickly sell you all of the gubbins that I have to sell. If you have a wheel, maybe I'll just buy one straight off the bat. Maybe I'll just buy one from you. Uh, can I see inventory? Let's see, I need to sell. Yeah, I need to sell that, sell that, and that, and all of this, sell. What else needs to be sold? You need to be sold. This is good. Look at all the money we're making. Sell six of this. Five, almost $6,000. Good, good, good. Sell that one. Sell the extra engine. Uh, sell that. Sell that. And sell... Why aren't you interested in that item? Buy my freaking wrench, bitch! He had nothing for me to buy. Oh, well, nothing that I really wanted anyway. Nothing worth the $6,000 I have. So I'll check the other trader closer to home. But we're almost there. We're almost there. We're not too far away from home now. Oh, it didn't go down to the ditch. That's good. Just gotta follow this road all the way south. Oh, it's like a... Why is there a, a drop in the sky? Did like, did maybe, did, did a, a, a plane drop a drop, a drop a drop, before I left last time, now it's just like glitched in the air? It's like 9 o'clock in the morning, this is not drop time. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks pretty stuck up in the air. I mean, that's, that, that's fine. I never really go for the drops anyway, because all they give me is dog and cat food. But, uh, that's a little bit peculiar. Oh, well, oh, never mind then. Next time we make a drop, please make it hit the ground and give me something good inside it. Oh, home sweet home. It is good to be home as the thunder claps in the distance. Is that for... Does that mean it's a Horde Knights knot or are you just doing that to scare me? Oh, game, game. The game is ST Ruggling real, real hard. It is now the President Mayor of Ruggle Street. Ah, oh, get across there. Jump in here, open the door. Okay. We're good. Right, where did I put all of my mini bike stuff? Uh, not in there. Wait, is, is it in there? No, where's where's the wheels? Where's the wheels, Jeffrey? There's the wheels, Jeffrey. All right, grab one of those. And then just like that, we have everything ready to go. Mini bike. Look at that. I can make it right now. I can fucking make it. But let's let's make sure. I've got, so I've got a point to spend. Oh, where should I put it? Where should I put it? Shotgun Messiah is doing pretty good. Lucky Looters took a bit of a punishment. I bought that. Oh, I must have had a thing. Damn it, I hate it when I do that. Um, where, 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 where? What is the next thing I could probably use the most? Oh, it's a tough decision. Because I want to know, like, I, I want to put it into my intellect to craft slightly better stuff. Although, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore. I think that might be the best option for now. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. No, can't buy. Oh, because I've got three points? Holy shit, that's expensive. I put it into healing factor because no one's ever upset when they get extra health every 15 seconds. Craft the mini bike. It is on its way. The world is red. The horde is about to come. And they're about to come and die in my killing corridor. I'm not even mad though. I'm happy. To, I mean, well, they're not really going to get me up here, I suppose. I just like run around in circles for a little while until they decide they've had enough. In fact, I could be, I could be really dumb. I could be really, really, really dumb. I could just come down here. Oh, I could, I could, no, 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 Josh, no, landmines are bad, stop thinking landmines are going to work out for you, because they never ever do, I'm just kind of ignoring the radiators right now, and just trying to get as many kills as I can on regular zombies, because I just want the XP, kill you, kill you, I'm using the pistol as well, I have an abundance of 9 mil rounds at the moment, and I feel I can do more damage more quickly with this thing, than I can with my bow. Yes, look at them, look at them all, they're all falling over. There is a pile of decaying remnants of zombies right in front of me. Just following me. Oh, it's Chelsea. That's a rad Chelsea too. I mean, I can't do anything about the rad. I don't have anti-rad at the moment. So I just, I just, it's just not gonna happen for me, you know? Uh, one day, maybe I might be able to take on some radiators, but in this game mode, that's a pretty long way off. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, a bunch more. I've got like nothing but rads now. I've only got one normal zombie, or two normal zombies in the whole Blood Moon Horde. They are sending their best soldiers for me. I don't care, I don't care. You can't, you can't phase me. Shot her right the ankle. <laughs> Chelsea is apparently Achilles. She stumbled at that one. I've put like four rounds in the zombie's chest before, and they haven't even blinked an eye. But I put one into Chelsea's ankle, and she stumbles around like a goose over a hurdle. No, no, right, come on, can I kill you please? I just want the extra experience, I'm so close to another level. I was gonna leave the rads to just run around in the killing corridor as much as they like. I'll even leave the door open so that they still path to me. Am I sure I don't have any anti-rad? I mean, I, I get confused sometimes. I had anti-rad in Hardcore Survival for so long. People got so mad at me telling me that I had it when I completely forgot about it. Is it in here somewhere? Is it hiding on one of these things? I, I would have thought if I had anti-rad or put it on something by now. Nope, I guess not. If I, if you know that I have anti-rad somewhere, please tell me where it is, because I could very much use it at times like this. Those guys are just dropping down there, fine. Oh, okay. Well, you know what time it is? While they're down there, I now have my brand new mini bike. Oh, I'm excited. I'm an excited boy. Let's put you right there. Yep, just there. Let's grab you some gas. Where have I left all my gas? There it is. Grab that. 
Okay, and then just like that, we are moving from the pedal power age to the mini bike age. Oh, that only takes 100 fuel. Fun of me. And, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now you'll never catch me. Look at me go. Oh, man. Like, the mini bike was always, uh, always used to be the only kind of transportation you could get. So, like, just having the mini bike again just, like, fills in with nostalgia. I love the mini bike. Get myself a nice little hero pose here. Just like that. Look at me. Look how happy I am atop my noble mini bike steed. But that is, uh, that's a good place to leave it, I think. That is an accomplishment. I got some motorized transport, and I'm very, very happy about that. So... I am going to have to leave this episode here. I will come back and I will play some more of GFM8 Impossible Mode in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to mention the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.